Creepy Facts That'll Keep You Up at Night, Part 4. So back on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed the Apollo 11 on the moon's surface. Or at least that's the official story. Radio transmissions between Apollo 11 and NASA were interrupted for about two minutes. Now according to three different sources, Neil and Buzz switched over to a secure medical line so they can talk directly with Mission Control without the public hearing. And the reason was is because they were looking at some strange craft near a crater that was observing them. Them. And according to the legend, Armstrong said, they're here, they're watching us. So the person that came forward and said that they switched over to the medical communication line was this guy named Otto Binder, who was a former NASA employee and also a science fiction writer. But also this guy named Maurice Chatlin, he came out and said that portions of the transcript were true and hidden from the public. And he was a NASA communications engineer. And apparently there were multiple ham radio operators in Europe that were able to pick up the private conversation by switching through different frequencies. Now according to NASA, there was no UFOs on the moon landing and any drop in communication was due to technical handovers from station to station. But weirdly, a lot of the Apollo 11 original tapes went missing for years and they didn't find them until 2009 and they found out that they had been re-recorded over, like they just recorded on top of them because apparently they were having a tape shortage or something, so that's kind of weird. Now this also reminds me of Gary McKinnon, the guy who hacked NASA for years and then ended up getting caught in the mid-2000s, but according to him, he said for years he was in their computers and found pictures of UFOs, like anti-gravity technology, free energy technology, but he said a lot of UFO stuff was in there. And even he said one of his first big finds was a folder called Unprocessed, and he clicked one of the pictures and ended up being a spacecraft of some sort hovering above Earth. So I don't know, I definitely think it's possible, like, I've been on the fence about the whole moon landing, like, whether it was, like, official or not. I feel like we definitely went there, but maybe not on that exact day. But if they did, and they did run into UFOs, that would be very interesting. But what do you think?